Brian Harrison is a barber, a small business owner, and an immigrant. For the past decade, he has been running the Night Owl Barber Shop in Toronto. His shops are like a step back in time, with a f and they're full of antique chairs, old techniques, really cool stuff. Brian recently had the opportunity to expand his business and open a third location thanks to a Desjardins a Good Spark grant. We spoke to him to find out more. Check it out. Hi, I'm Brian Harrison. I'm a barber and the proprietor of the Night Owl Barber Shop. We're located in this new spot in the east of Toronto at Carla and Gerard. I'm from Dublin, Ireland originally. I had an interest in antiques and old barbering stuff. I did an apprenticeship at a famous barber shop back in Dublin called the Waldorf Barber Shop. I moved to Toronto 10 years ago and I took over an old barber shop on the west end of the city called the Night Owl that had first opened in 1947. What sets us apart as a shop is that we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. We're just focused on uh, good traditional classic barbering. Back in the old days, uh, barbershop was an integral part of the community. It was a stable. So I really tried to be that and be a place where people feel they can come in and it's part of the community and they can see their neighbor, get to know their barber and, and have that ongoing connection over the years. The style of the Night Owl is very classic in the sense of like a 1940s or 1950s kind of barbershop. It's almost like an old hospital. That's why we like to use, you know, the mint green or teal colors. I also like to do a splash of, you know, pink and some old neon and throw some random stuff up on the wall like a taxidermy buffalo. And coming out of the pandemic, I just decided to, I'd wanted to be on the east end of the city for a long time, but I don't think I had really the courage to do it. And I had thought prior to that, that if I got a grant or something, that that would be the catalyst for me. I was like, okay, I'm going to sign the lease, I'm going to open the space if I can get that. And then lo and behold, out of nowhere, the Desjardins grant come in and I just decided to go for it. I'm going to flick it down like this. Just like this, and I'm going to do what we call dynamic cutting, which is cutting on the return here. It's just all freehand, clipper over comb, no guards. So you're not holding it out here, you're not being here like this, hunkered with your shoulders, your shoulders are relaxed. Training and teaching has been a really important theme throughout my career in barbering. It's something that I love, it gives me a purpose here at the shop, and uh, I've always enjoyed having an apprentice uh, working alongside me, and then for them to, uh, to learn the craft and you know, enjoy uh, the work, you know, the way I have done over the years. It's been a very time and money intensive process over the years, but it's so rewarding and it means that everybody then is up to the same standard. Everybody cares about how we do things and the methodology. And for me, I feel that teaching over the years has made me a better barber. We're just out here doing one haircut, one shave, one beard trim at a time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.